A local referee called dead on your side, and it has nothing to do with what happened on the basketball court. This is about what happened after the game, and he says it's hitting his finances. Ten on your side's Matt Gregory has been looking into why a ref from a local tournament says he hasn't been paid. Yeah, Tom Nicole, Paul Clark has called quite a few delay of game times in his time as a ref, but now he says he's the one waiting. Paul Clark has worked the sidelines for more than a decade across Hampton Roads, long after his sports career ended. I still want to be around sports. You know, it's like I'm the gatekeeper of, of sports, so to say. To stay around the games he loves, he started the Hampton Roads Sports Officials Association. He provides referees for local tournaments. For tournaments like this, at the conclusion of the tournament, the officials like to get paid. So I had to pay every official that worked that tournament has already been paid. In July, Clark says a company out of North Carolina, A1D1 Sports, asked for officials to work a tournament at the Virginia Beach Fieldhouse. Clark says he paid 14 men to work, and after the tournament... I asked the gentleman for the payment, and he asked me, did I take PayPal? And I told him no. And I told him that he was supposed to have a check ready. Well... He told me that he had to get in touch with his boss to send me a check next day. Clark waited for the check, and when it didn't come, he called them. Clark says someone with the company said they sent it to the wrong address. Clark corrected the address and then waited. To this day, I still haven't received payment from him. I tried to call them. I tried to email. I tried to text. I tried to do everything. I exhausted all my resources, and that's why I reached out to Wave TV, too. Ten on your side called and emailed several different members of the A1D1 sports group, but never got a response. Now Clark says he's afraid he's out $1,000. I've been leaving messages and emailing the company all day with no luck. We'll continue to reach out to them and find out what happened and if Clark can get this resolved. Matt Gregory, Ten on your side. One of the venues that hosted a short part of the tournament told Ten on your side after what Paul Clark went through, they won't do business with a1D1 anytime soon.